police car. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. Oh yes, this game's epic enough, it has a driving mechanic. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode three of... I have to uh, tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. He could lip sync. Oh, great. <laughs> Change view. Honk. Imperative. Steer. Wipers. Signal left. Signal right. Accelerate. Change view. Head. This is going to be awesome. It's going to be like a car simulator. Master key. And a flare. <laughs> That's how reliable this car is. If you get. Okay. There's the view change. We have three different views. Listen to them sound effects. We have a vehicle. What else can be said about it? What's this? Can I get out and explore like anywhere? What was that? Was that a car? The car turned it Doc, off. Is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed yes. to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if Shh. you want. Shut up, we're peeking. Use it with the fishing rod to go fishing. We're going to be fishing. This is going to be amazing. We're peeking. So you can sleep there. A loading screen, and there wasn't nothing. No naked lady. Turkey sandwich? That turkey's purple! <laughs> Observation part. Someone stole my car! What to the F? My car has been stolen. Was that my punishment for peeping? There's more cars here, though. I don't know what that was. I think that was a helicopter. Look, look, how do I get that? Uh, uh, uh. What? How do I get them? Oh well, there's more cars to drive. Let's drive this one again. It takes a piece of the ceiling when you open the door. The roof of the car gets, comes with us. Right then. Jesus. Okay. Hedge sounded a bit metallic. How do we get off the car park? Oh, there you have it. There's the handbrake. Ladies and gentlemen, we're a cruising. No, nope, we're going this way. No, no, no. Idiot. I can... Can I signal? So, so. About those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. <laughs> what? You know, the ones from the 80s oh, have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances. We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. That's illegal. When that video store opened, we spent hours there. Just trying to find a good movie to rent. Ooh! Many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Thank you, never. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DiBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re released in 95. Okay. If he's going to talk bollocks this entire journey, then I'll sleep in dogs this, and I will get talk to you when I get there. I can fish here, but I don't have a fishing rod. I can cycle places of interest. Never knew that. Although it says it down there, toggle map. Okay, so where am I? 
I can't control this map. This is insane. Okay. Oh, there we go. I'm going to be turning on... What's that? Maybe a trading card. I'll let you know. What I think I'll do is then... I think I'll cut this out. Because I think I've gone the wrong way, for starters. Oh, my goodness. You can see where I've got to go. So, I will definitely uh, have to... Why do you join a suspect suspect? Who cares? Anyways... I'm going to flip this round and I will cut the journey and we are going to, I will meet you at the sheriff's office. So I'll see you there. Don't. I've been playing this game with you as my thing for like, for like, for, I don't know, two hours now, and you're annoying me already. And if there's ever a driving scene, I'm cutting it out every time. He did nothing but talk shit about movies, like Tremors. <laughs> I mean, I like Tremors, but he bored me. Shout out to Kevin Bacon. What the fuck? Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. Hi, Thomas. Hello there, Thomas McLean. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. There's the badge. Please just call me York. It's what everyone Everybody else calls, calls me. me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no. Just doing my job. I just... I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Really? Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. What? Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. You can't delay me for these things. Oh. Jack, <laughs> Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally yeah. at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Isn't it? Okay, <clears throat> I resent the fact that this game makes me- Oh my god, I'm saving. I'm saving, I have to save. Because if I have to do that driving section again, I'm going to bludgeon myself to death with the Xbox 360 controller. It's going to happen. So, do you know they're releasing this on PS3? You know, as of right now, it's not out on PS3. And they're going to be releasing it with some extra content. I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> I'm not going to buy it. Uh, I keep... Oh, uh, apparently we have to go that way. So let's have a look around. Hi there, stern-looking man, you. Can I just... I don't want to leave. I don't want to look at it, neither. Do I want to go to the John? Man! It's not the men's toilet, it's the man toilet. And this is the woman toilet. <laughs> I am... I know it sounds like I'm dissing this terrible, but I'm falling for this game in ways you couldn't... Material room. Where they keep their fabrics. <laughs> I like Thomas. He's like a manly man. He's a gruff, manly man. I like him. I'm not criticizing him, not being sarcastic. I like him. What's this do? Okay. Mm. Okay, so there's nothing on that shelf. What about this one? Wow. Did you find the key yet, Thomas? Or are you looking for it there? You're staring intently, so I'm taking that you found it. No, there's nothing there. Either. Thomas, talk to me. Don't be shy. I really can't seem to find that key. 
What should I do? The sheriff isn't going to be happy. It has a southern flying squirrel key holder attached to it. If you haven't seen you haven't seen it, have you? Ah, oh, let's not let our friend Thomas get in trouble. I like him more than the sheriff anyway. Simply for the moustache, if anything. Um let's have a look around and see if we can find the key for, for poor old Thomas. First off we'll check the storage room. I went straight for the most colourful thing in the room. Ponytail flying squirrel keys. I found them in the first room. Oh yeah, the first room. Can I check the lockers? Probably not. Oh! A well organised storage room. No doubt this is Thomas' work too. Whoever gets to marry him will be spoiled rotten. Valid point. Because if he keeps a tidy storeroom, he must keep a tidy house. <laughs> you know, it's only logical. I like you, Thomas. I do like you. I found the squirrel keys, Tom. Tom. Look what I found. Will you be my friend? <laughs> Our friend! Agent York, did you find the key? Master key. Oh, no. The squirrel one. You found the key. I did. I think so. Is this it? Hold it in the air. <laughs> Above your head. This is our key. The squirrel had black eyes like the bad guys. Ah, uh, you don't know your squirrels, do you? This isn't the right key holder. This is a Siberian flying squirrel. It's closer to a land-based squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel is larger <sighs> than the southern flying squirrel and has a standing tail while the southern has a hanging tail. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Sure do know a lot about squirrels. Wow. Really? It's the wrong key. It was the wrong type of squirrel. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can't see it's insane. Okay, so I'm not going to the fire exit. No, I'm going down here. To the fixed camera area to walk into the walls several times. I can creep. Still creep. <laughs> Creaky doors. <laughs> I see that Thomas isn't too handy with the WD-40. See, look. The more I hold my breath, see my heart rate going up? You give myself a heart attack. Gotta be careful. What was that? Oh, it's a shooting range. Striped squirrel key? You got the striped squirrel key. No, we don't want that though. We want a southern flying squirrel. But at least we're coming to different places. Okay. It's kind of dark down there, kind of creepy. It's okay though. Um. How's that creaky? How's that creaky? Hi there, policeman. You have good posture. Go to sleep in the cell. Yeah, look around in the cell before you walk in York. I can actually go and get me some sleep. Don't need sleep right now, but you know. I'm not going to go in every cell. I'm just going to spin the camera and see whether I can see any dots that aren't sleep dots. No. Hopefully, we'll be bringing in the culprit soon. I mean, the end of our little vacation here. I could let you out. And the FBI. You. Ooh. Thank you, medal. Curve tail flying squirrel key. A curvy tail flying squirrel key. He says it was more of a hanging tail. It could be that one. It's definitely worth calling in on him if we have to pass the room. Where Thomas is quietly doing jack shit and contemplating one small area of the... You look the same as the last prisoner. Can I? Look. You all look the same. Criminals. You all have the same simian-like look. <laughs> A desk for the warden. Whatever. Who cares? Excuse me, cop. I have two squirrel keys and I'm going to hand them to my friend Thomas. 
because for some reason I'm jostling for his affection and I'm unsure why. Open. Come on. <sighs> Up we go. Handles it a little better this time. A little bit. I can't even explain the controls. Can't even explain them. Let's pop into Thomas. I found a squirrel that's got a slightly hangy tail, Tom. Agent York, did you find the key? I found uh, this one. What about this one? You found the key. I think I did. That's the right one. Is it? Yes. Yay! Flying squirrel. Thank you so much. We did I'll it. bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. By the way, your key was in a prison. Okay. Jesus Christ. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> I think York's flirting. Got here and we've cracked a big case already. He's saluting us. You're beautiful. Heels together, man. Heels together when you salute. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in a lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually... I... Well... I... I baked them myself. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? They're very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the <laughs> autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. He's looking Thomas, at Tom. Stay here and tidy up these files. Oh. Yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm <laughs> Wait till I've my fucking biscuit. That's what you want. God, dang, this game is killing me. Oh, stupid. There we go. Another one done. <laughs> An hour and five minutes, and I've learned a little bit about squirrels. Hopefully, you have as well. And you'll join me again uh, for some more deadly. What's my wages like? <laughs> oh, it's crap wages. <laughs> oh, well, at least I got some money. Anyways, I will see you next time for more deadly premonition. Um, and we will go and see the autopsy because there's no way they can play shaft music over the top of an autopsy. So I will see you next time, everyone. Take care.